I got my boy Zay. Zay in this new this this new episode. I'm excited for this segment, bro. How you doing, brother? Bro, I'm doing good. How are you, man? I appreciate you for having me. Bro, I'm great, bro. I'm great. Um, all right, so we'll just do a quick little background and then we'll get right into um get into what we want to talk about. Um, so so where are you from? Where'd you grow up, bro? So where I'm from, I was originally born in uh Cortland, New York. And then in eighth grade I had moved to Aqua, Georgia, and then ever since then, I just haven't looked back. Facts. I know, and we you know we talked about that, but that was probably a crazy transition though. Yeah, no, it was say. definitely it was definitely different, like especially sports wise, like Mm-hmm. The biggest like shock was in middle school we lifting weights. Like middle school we have a mandatory summer football practice. Sports are more intense. Like in, in Cortland, when you're in middle school, you playing modified football. Like you're not having no real field goals, no real punts, no real kickoffs. But down here, everything live, like everything. Right. You got right. a kicker, you got a punter, the quarterback, like every every position you, you gotta do that. So, no, nah, that's fire. Um, I remember, I played quarterback, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, quarterback. and I came down here, and I was like, man, I gotta go, I gotta go play a different position. So, uh, <laughs> I fell in love with DB. I played a little bit of receiver, but I just really wasn't a fan of. I like the the mentality of a DB and just the the aspects of playing DB. So, I feel that. All right, bro. Let's um let's jump a little bit past high school, okay, and um let's get to college. Um, what what colleges? I know you went to a couple, but what colleges did you go to? So, you you good? I can edit all that too. <laughs> it's lit. Uh, say that again. Um, I said so. So we're gonna skip high school for a quick second. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're gonna go into college, right? Like, what colleges did you go to? So colleges, I went to out of coming out of high school. I had a couple of different options, but I chose to commit to uh, Catawba College in Salisbury, North Carolina, a Division two program. I uh, played there for four years, got my degree in exercise science. Uh, I, I loved it at Catawba. I mean, it was everything that you were kind of looking for coming out of high school. Um, good coaches, good culture behind it, just the whole nine. I had I had a good time, good career, um, and then I had grad transfer my last year. They were successful four years and went to uh, University of Charlotte for my uh, graduate year. Yeah, nah, and that's what's up, bro. Um, so, so when you think about um your college football experience, right? Uh, mm-hmm. give me give me one of your favorite one of your favorite football memories. Okay, uh, so me and my roommate, my freshman year, right? We would always talk about he played safety, I played corner, and we always played on the same side. I played to the boundary, and he was always the boundary safety. So we would always just talk about. Oh, if I get a pick, I'm going to throw a big block for you. If he gets a pick, I'm going to throw a big block for him. If he makes a fumble, I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to score. If I get a fumble, he's going to pick it up, he's going to score. And coincidentally, we just manifested it so much that first play into our, I want to say our sophomore or maybe junior year, uh, running back broke, broke for a long one. My roommate, he made the kid fumble. I picked it up, took it back to the house 75 yards. So yeah. I say that, that was definitely – my moment in college right there. And I was my first touchdown I've ever scored in football. So, well, in college football. So, it was it was huge. No, nah, that's fire, bro. I'm going to um I'm going to get that video and I'll post it too uh when we're when we're talking about this. It's crazy you say that cuz when I had uh Jonathan, Jonathan transferred to Morrisville my senior mm-hmm. year and he played corner. And I played safety obviously. And we yeah. didn't really ma- we didn't really manifest it like that, but we would always kind of just be like, "Yo, that'd be fire." You know what I'm saying? And, and um so mo- like it was like I don't know like the moment it happened and like it was just so crazy because like that's all we talked about. Wow, and, like, that's nah, that's so game, wavy. Bro. That's so wavy. So so in our first, we I think it was our first game. Um, Jonathan he got like um he was playing corner. He got like a little pass deflection. Mhm. And I and I picked it off. I took it a hundred yards to the crib, bro. Oh no, that's like a hundred yards. But it was bro. it was fire, bro. I remember, bro. I was getting tired, bro. Running back to the, bro, running back to the crib, bro. All I heard was that to go. He was screaming, bro. He said, "Caleb, they're behind you." <laughs> <laughs> bro, I just dove into the end zone, bro. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, people don't realize how long a hundred yards is. Like when you, bro, the ball off, it, like you gotta bro. think about it. You just ran about 10, 15 yards covering the dude, and then you gotta run another hundred yards, which is bro. Really but listen to me, bro. Making everyone miss. Wow, that's a fact. But bro, I cut it back too. 
oh, yes, that's about 120, 130. Yeah, bro. I ran down the sideline, then I cut it back all the way across the field. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but I understand that feeling of, like, with your homie, bro, like, making a play like that together and then it going out the way that y'all want it to, uh, which is fire. Yeah. Um, all right, bro. So we're going we gonna to fast forward to the, to the segment that I really want to get into. Um, how... When when did you when did you in your mind des- decide that you want to be um, a pro- professional football player? When did you when in your mind were you like, yo, this is what I want to do? Uh, crazy story, bro. So my freshman year high school, um, yeah, my freshman year of high school, uh, the basketball coaches knew that I was about to stop playing football to just focus on basketball. And so my last game, my freshman year, I had two picks. Oh. And I picked off two curl routes. And if you know anything about, like, freshman football and, like, being a young corner, picking off two curl routes in, in football is pretty, it's pretty hard. So I picked off two two curl routes in the same game. And our head coaches for varsity were on the sideline. So as soon as the game was over with, they came up to me and they were like, Isaiah, are you sure that you want to um, quit playing football? Like, are you sure this, you sure this is what you want to do? And I was like, you know what, coach? Um I'm going to play football still. Like, I'm going to continue to play football. And ever since that day, uh, I want to say probably that same year or in the, in the following next year, I went to a bowl game, uh, Lockheed Arms uh, Forces bowl game. Uh, it was uh, Louisiana Lafayette versus the Navy, I want to say. And just being around in that environment and that experience from my freshman year, uh, that right there is when I noticed I wanted to play college football. Well, I love it. I love it. Um, so, so you want to play college football. Um, that's like, that's like one step of it. Right. So mm-hmm. when did you, when did you say, you know, I, I think I want to be a pro with this thing. When did I want to be a pro? I would say really, really at that same moment too, as well. But when I'd say when like it actually like hit my mind that I can do this is probably like my freshman year when I enrolled on campus. Cause at first, if you, if you recall, like, I never thought I'd go to college to play college football. I thought I'd go to play college basketball. And the moment I stepped on campus and had the people around me, my friends around me, and my parents were just really supportive. From right there, I was just like, okay, yeah, I'm going to take this all the way. I'm not going to come up here, waste my time, waste nobody else's time. So from yeah. really my freshman year in high school to going uh-huh. to that bowl game to my first time stepping on campus is when I was like, man, I can do this. No, that's what's up. All right, so let's fast forward to to sheesh, yesterday, two days ago for you. Um, what was that? What was that pro day experience like? What was training like for it going up? But like, what was that experience like having a pro day? Uh, I'll start. I'll start with training. Training different. It is different. Like intensity is different. Like you you know what's on the line. Everything's about really numbers, stats. Like you trying to have better stats than somebody else at your position. You trying to outdo people at your position. It's a million people in the world right now trying to get their name called Here Come April. So training, um, I'll say I had a good time training. It was a blast. Bro. I, I fell in love with the grind. Um, but you, you're going to be sore every day. Like, you got to take care of your body. You got to eat right. You got to get a certain amount of hours of sleep. You can't stay up all day. You can't, can't smoke. You can't drink. You can't do none of that. Like, you got to just keep your body right, keep your mind right. Like, just, just the little stuff. Like, the stuff that you – always been told there's the stuff you need to do like whatever you do in the dark i believe it's gonna come to the light so you just gotta stay humble stay hungry and, and just keep keep on a straight line and just every day just go to try to be better than yesterday and nah, i love it i love for it for my pro day i said like a dream come true we are like probably 30 plus scouts there um at first when i first woke up i was kind of nervous uh, just about being in the environment, bigger stage, a loss on the line. Um, and then when I first got there, like, it was just like, it was just another day in the lab. Like, just just go, I've been doing this my whole life. Like, just go in there and perform. Don't leave no doubts. Don't leave no regrets. Just leave it all out there, and then everything's going to come into play. But I would say I had a good time. I did my thing. So now it's just, it's up to the scouts, it's up to the, my agent, see what she can do for me. And up to me, honestly, too, I just got to stay working, stay ready. My opportunity is going to come. So, uh, Absolutely. Um, so that, that's a lot. That's a lot to touch on. You know what I'm saying? I think it was great, too. 
um, you talked about like the process, right? Of, mm -hmm. um, of not just your pro day, bro. That's the process of being a pro. You know what I'm saying? That's something that you've got to be able to, from here on out, you know what I'm saying? Live like that. It becomes Meaning what we all like would say a lifestyle. Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you said, like, like it's going to be second nature to, to not do certain things that's going to hurt your body too much. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be second nature too. If you saw like understand my trainer, he's always told me, he said, bro, if you look at everyone that's successful for real in, in sports in their in their um career, they're all losers, bro. Like mm -hmm. you don't see them going to hang out late at night. You don't you don't really see them drinking, you don't see them smoking, you don't see them getting in trouble. Like for example, LeBron. LeBron don't really do too much. Like you don't really see LeBron hanging out for real. Like Right. So, like, I just took that, like, to just be a loser, bro. Like, it's okay to be by yourself, bro. You grinding right now. If they don't see the vision now, like, what's the point of bringing them along when when it happens? Like, you just bringing along fans at that point. In my opinion, I want people that's been there for me stay down with me. Like, when I wasn't doing nothing, when I was just no, that's home, a fact. every day grinding. Mm -hmm. so, no, that's a fact, bro. I think. I think you're right, bro. It's hard to be a square, bro. And like when people say that loser square, like it's I they're not saying that in a negative way. It's just like, yo, you just chilling. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah, focus, like, you got a goal, like, and that's it. Mm -hmm, I focus on my goal, my goal only right now. Like everything else, that's that's behind me. So like I said, I just I really I just been a loser, bro. I just been chilling. Just been working on my craft, trying to get better, bro. Just trying to chase my dream. So Nah, facts. Um, what's something that you would say like continues to push you uh to to want to be um whether you get your your name called or not in april right um there's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of opportunities for you to become a professional football player uh so what what pushes you to want to continue that just me and my mindset honestly like besides like my family and everything else like just me like just keep myself motivated like this is what i wanted to do so what would i look like saying i want to do this and then half-ass everything not for sure. Right, so um, really no, that's, that's a fact. And then my family, of course, my support system, like, definitely them. Like, shout out them. But um, but me, really, like, like I said, uh -huh. what do I look like half-assing this? If I said this was something I want to do, I wouldn't want someone on my team that says they want it but then don't work for it. No, nah, that's a fact. Um, I definitely agree 100%. So, so lastly, bro, what is um, what's some advice you would give to the youth now, or even to your younger self, but to the youth now that that they want to grow up, they want to be a professional, you know what I'm saying, football player specifically, you know what I'm saying? What's some advice that you would give them if you're staring at, like, a classroom full of kids that's like, nah, I want to do that? Um, shoot, I'll say this. Like, I'll get short and simple with it. Like, not everyone going to believe me, right? Not You could tell a million people you want a professional athlete. I bet only five of them say you can be it. So just – in your mind, if you know that's what you want to do, bro, you can't let no one stop you, bro. Like, just don't let don't let the doubters tell you you can't do something. You, if like my dad says, um, if you put your mind to it, there's nothing in this world you can't do. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, you you can't count everyone that hates on you, but you can count everyone that supports you. So. Just have a good support system. Keep your head on straight, and just just keep grinding, bro. That's all I can say. Just keep working, bro. Everything's gonna come to light. Trust in your Lord and your Savior, whoever it is. Just just keep working, keep grinding, and whatever you put your mind to, you could do, little bro. So, just nah, keep fact, I love that, bro. That's that's a fact, bro. There's not a whole lot. You know what I'm saying, really, advice wise on that, there's not really a whole lot to give somebody. It's like, listen, bro, if you gonna, you know what I'm saying? You got to put in the work. You got to mm -hmm. trust yourself. You got to be around the right people. And and just love, for me, really, it's just loving the grind, loving the process, because it's not going to be I said this, easy. too. Like, bro, you can't, cheat, you can't cheat the process, man. You can't cheat the process. Even if you got gifted talent, like, bro, you can't cheat the process, bro. It's something that's going to come into life. Some, somebody's always working harder than you. So you just try to stay the hardest working person you know, and that's something I live by. I just try to. I work myself every day. Really, I'm not competing with nobody. I'm competing with myself. So, nah, that's a fact, bro. Well, hey, bro, I appreciate you, bro, and I'm excited for this for this segment to drop. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really more excited to see what 
um, what entails your your football, your pro football journey for real. You know what I'm saying? I because that. yeah, because it's gonna be what it's gonna be. And like I tell everybody, bro, like you, you know what I'm saying your name might not get called, and that's fine. But if you do what you got to do, if you surround yourself with the right people, the right agent stuff, um, you could end up with an opportunity. You know what I'm saying to to showcase mm, your talent. No, definitely, most definitely, yeah. Most definitely. Uh, I appreciate you, Caleb. No doubt, brother. All right, brody, I'm going to catch you. All right, bro. Love, bro. Be easy. All right, always, bro. For sure. All right.